Hey, thank you for joining me for this week's Tuesday Tech Tip. I'm Curtis Hyde with Colorado Computer Supports, and I appreciate you spending the next minute or two with me. So I'm going to give you an example of what an email fish could look like of how someone tries to get your information whenever they send you a malicious email. So let's say you receive an email, or I receive an email, and it's going to be from the owner of our company. His name is Blake Schwank, and I receive an email from Blake Schwank at gmail.com. Now, that right there would be a huge red flag to myself because typically when I get emails from him, it's blake.schwank at coloradosupport.com. And I get this email and it says, hey, you need to do an, a Google update. Please click this button and log in. Say if I click this button and an image pops up that looks like this, and it looks just like Gmail. As you can see, probably you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but until you look at the top of that image and you see that URL. And that URL looks super weird and there's not even anything that does, has to do with Google or Gmail inside of that URL. That's a huge red flag if someone's trying to fish you through something that you, looks trustworthy and that's real from Google, but unfortunately it's not. And they're just trying to bait you to get information for you to log in with your login information and your passwords so they can have control over your email, your calendars, and your contact information, or maybe even your Google Drive that holds all of your critical company information. So before you get to those steps, identify a couple things. Make sure who you're getting that email is actually from who it's from. There's no spelling or grammatical errors that could look very fishy or very unusual to you. So that way you can avoid getting to some aspect where you're clicking weird links that could possibly set you up for any type of a threat or attack. Avoid clicking, avoid usual things, hit delete, call that person, verify, make sure they're sending you these things. That way you're keeping yourself safe and your business safe and also notifying that other person if someone is using their information to act like them to bait and fish other people. If you do have any further questions about this, feel free to give us a phone call. We're Colorado Computer Support. We're experts at what we do. And you can always reach us at 719-439-0599 or on the web at www.coloradosupport.com. Thanks for joining me for this week's Tuesday Tech Tip. I'll see you next time and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.